So obviously when you first start in, you will see customize play in AFK zone. All right. So AFK zone is right here, which you'll be able to go inside and right. We got played then customize. You want to go to customize first, right? This is where you'll be able to go and customize your character, blah, blah, blah. Then you have the spin menu at the bottom right here. All right. This is where you'll be able to spin for your race. We got human, which is 65% fishman, 10% mink, 5%, only 2% and sky pian, 18%. All right. They, most of them have passives. Some maybe not, but most of them have passives, which will be really, really cool then you have race variant you can also roll for two which will make your race look different depending on which one you have so right we can try spinning for one just so i can show you guys what we got in i think the oni oh what? we got a two percent first try y'all gonna think this scripted but it ain't i literally just spun it first try we got the rarest one nah that is actually wild but hey we got oni which is pretty cool i'm gonna go back and edit my character i think white is fine but we need something else right like for the shirt i have to go with red for the shirt like a, a lighter version of it there we go pants black there we go yeah that definitely does look fine i'm rocking with it so yeah it's pretty cool but once you finalize you'll be able to go inside of the game which is called the east blue right then you'll be given a, a cutscene. usually when you're starting off on level one obviously i'm already inside of the game now all right but once you get in this is where you want to start off at and i'm gonna show you guys every quest and all the functionalities of the game all right so first thing we'll obviously go over for you guys all right the menu got the gui settings all right this is what it shows shadow performance fast mode music toggle ambience movie music road textures all right overhead ui display i want low key you want to see the world text i don't know what it really does but cool all right then we got the shop this is where you can buy game passes two times belly xp and drop and even mastery you know it's pretty decent it starts at 50 robot now but for 15 minutes you know we got striker coffin extra cc island spawns fruit bag fruit notifier jojo emotes private server game pass emote packs reset style reset fruits we got a whole lot of game pack for you guys so it's gonna be pretty darn interesting mate and we got the inventory this shows you what you have on the side right here got the fist combat and the cow meat what you might start off with right then you can even have the party system where you can invite people you can create it right this is not working right now i'm in a private server or testing server so it is what it is then you got the crew system as well you coming on update one they said so it is what it is we have the ship sailor right here right this is pretty cool you go talk to him all right it has the own music or dialogue right we have the cell boat which is 300 belly warship 1500 belly and coffin boat 2000 robux pretty decent all right down here right here where i'm pointing at this is where it shows your level your health bar xp bar and your stamina bar right here is your belly then this is your level right here and right here i think this is your ping all right or your fps which is pretty darn cool now that i showed you guys this the simple stuff like that i can show you m1s right this is a random civilian across the map which is pretty cool you'll be able to attack that's regular m1s you get right with the m1 combat for fist fist mastery then you get punching barrage Mink. so pretty decent move right here you see this green crystal right here this is where you'll be able to set your spawn you might have noticed this is kind of like how project slayers has it. i'm not saying project slayer had it first but it kind of reminds me of project slayer which is pretty cool all right so yeah over here this is where a shop will be right this is where you get the next island's log post fuchsia log post as you guys see then a stamina potion and health potion as well then you got the alvita log post all right then this is where you get the cutlass and yeah this is where you get all the starter stuff right cutlass is actually 850 belly it's a common cutlass found in chest and shops across the sea perfectly for swiftly dealing with foes in close combat all right i showed you that stuff where you get the first weapons and things of that sort now it's for some of the quests there's different type of quests there's yellow quests right you'll be able to do you can like talk to him he'll have you doing certain stuff right there's blue quest as you guys see all right then there's even red quest but shanks is right there he's a yellow quest but there's yeah there's a lot of different type of quests you guys can definitely try to do to level up and get you to a different point in the storyline right this right here this is a logo for important quest i'm guessing and i'll just 
tell you exactly what the different quest colors and what they do. So for the quest and what they mean, right? The blue ones right here, as you guys see with the exclamation mark, those indicate the story missions, all right? For you can follow the storyline and the story quest. Simple as that. Now, if you see a red indicator for the exclamation mark, right? That is usually for the bosses, all right? Then the yellow one is for side quests, all right? Right here, like there's two side quests right here. And this one is the storyline that you guys can try to do or quests and they all let you level up in different type of ways either it's fighting fighting stuff and stuff like that so that's all you got to do and which one you should do first basically you do story you do story quest first then you do the side quest then you do the boss quest all right then you should be able to find your way to the next island and if you guys didn't know i put up on the map right now of all the islands right for this island you want to get to level one through level 15 so you can get to the next island all right and these are all the islands on the map right here all right so over here basically from where we were at fighting what the quests were you will see this logo right here indicating what quests you should do first you should just follow this along right talk to him all right he gives you a dialogue and you basically say this and it gives you a new quest to achieve. this one tells you you need to deliver a message and talk to makino who is also in the party's bar right here right makino is right here she kind of bad don't worry about that though right to give us the rest of the details quest completed easy as that some of the quests are going to be like that bro all right then you want to talk to her again bam she's asking for a favor then you do the next quest all right bring her drink deliver the crate inside adon's house all right and her house is all the way over there so you're going to be delivering stuff as well for this game that you guys might see yourself doing a lot so it's a lot of things like that you might be able to see uh for quests all right so after you talk to the don she's going to want you to come over here and heal some bandits which is another form of quest they're going to have you doing right you're able to set your spawn over here which is pretty cool right so you can try to fight these guys and it's aren't that hard to kill and he got in one priority and I'm dead nice all right once you did that quest you're gonna have to talk to Dodon again right bam the boy is that then you have to deliver this shovel to Sarah which is not that hard at all right she's all the way back here and Sarah's gonna have you do a quest as well all right, so it's either you delivering stuff, doing other certain things, or just killing bandits like I already explained, bro. Then you will finally be able to boss. Everything's in order, or you can try to do stuff on your own, but you have to make sure you do the storyline quest. All right, so bam. They took us all the way over here to Sarah. Bang. All right. Thanks so much for finding and returning this ring to me. It's precious to me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Talk to her again. She has a quest for her. All right. We have to help her pick up some rice, which is another quest, right? Collect the rice. Bam. Simple as that with the shovel. All right. Bang. Easy as that. We only have to do it five times. All right. We're here. Bang. And also you will be getting more uh, XP and levels depending on the quest and how much two times XP you have. All right. Now that we have this, we have to deliver the rice to Nespit, who is all the way over here here all right delivered it to nespit easy as that talk to her again she has a quest for us she's preparing a feast but she needs us to help get her supplies right bam we gotta get sugar beet which is all the way over here it will have an exclamation point so you know where to get it so you can follow it along all right bam and you talk to this guy right here farmer cool whole maru all right you give him the sugar beet or he will give it to you then you talk to him for his quest thing simple as that you have to be a certain level for this quest i think you have to be level Bro, horses, shut up. I think you have to be level 10. Okay, yeah, you have to be level 10. We're level four right now. So this is where you try to go and do some side quests. Now, there was a side quest around here. Trying to figure out where it is. There is some side quest around here that you do to meet the level requirements for the storyline quest. You can go back and do the Shanks one or the one that they had you killing bandits, right? But it's important to try to have double XP, which I'm pretty sure they'll give us some codes for it, right? Like they always do. Yeah, it was over here. Okay, so I found it. Bam. So from over there, we have this quest, the Fuha Village Villager. We talked to him. Nope, I can't talk to him. Okay, so yeah, best bet, you just do the quest inside where Shanks was at. All right, so we have another quest that we're trying to do, the Boar King. Quest requirements not met. You gotta be level 12 for this one. So yeah, a lot of them have level requirements, which it is what it is, right? I'm just gonna go with the first thing I had in mind doing uh, Shanks quest. Let's see if this one has a level requirement. He ate me down to the mountain bend. It's defeating my 
Machinos are. These don't simply. Okay, so yeah, we can do this quest. Villages, villain, please defeat the bandit terrorizing the village. Cool. All right, there's three bandits and we gotta help village. Where are they at? Back in the bar. I don't see them. Oh, is that one? Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, so it's a mountain bandit. You just have to find them, right? And attack them like that. Bam. There you go. Simple as that. And he's dead. That's one of them. They will usually have the bandana so you can try to find them. Hi there, buddy. Think, think, leave. Oh, so there we go. All right, second one down. Now we just have to find the third one. There he is. Found him. Hi there. Am. Oh, how did he get M1 priority? And he's dead. There we go. We're level five from that. We can go back to Shank. All right. And see if he has an extra quest for us so we can keep leveling up. And also some quests are repeatable, right? Bam. So yeah, you can keep doing this quest to take down these mountain bandits. Lucky has a quest for us. Can't run. We're running on a little meat run for we'll take a couple of wars so we can start selling again. Let's try this quest all the way over here and we got to defeat some boars all right so here are one of the boars they will try running at you like this and yeah hit you with consecutively attacks and finish it like that so i got double xp on now so that just gave me kind of like two to three levels so i can go back to lucky room try that quest again so we can get level 10 whatever you really want to do we could try the shanks quest again see how much that gives with double xp and bam that got us to level 10 which was pretty easy it wasn't that bad try this again just so i can show you guys all right because i know a lot of you guys will be confused on uh where the bandits are located all right first one will be located right here which is very simple to find on the side of the bar how did i just miss that bam cooked my friend and oh he just perfect blocked me just great there he is dead next one will be over here like on the west side of the bar all right he's dead and the other one will be across from that right right next to the nest bit quest and he is basically dead there it is and that got us to level 11 so yeah that quest is actually pretty decent there goes someone else in the lobby they have a w shit not gonna lie yeah now that we got to level 10 we can go back to the other quest that had the requirement for us right so yeah uh double xp is gonna be very very useful so when the game comes out definitely use those codes because uh, they'll definitely have them here talk to him bam it's not my fault i'm a terrible parent what if something happened to him so we probably gotta find or defend this guy defeat Huguma, who is all the way over here and he is also one of the bosses for this island all right so Higuma is over here so basically where the dadon quest is by the bandits right right here hey are you trying to rescue this kid eh get through me first so he wants us to feed him right we'll, we'll get a chance to get his katana for a boss drop which is pretty cool right and bam he has the boss hp bar at the top as well which indicates he's a boss all right bam leave this bang leave leave all right nice and we got that quest done gave us a level and we got the boss drop for it so we can go to our inventory bang right and equip the sword to our inventory all right double click to equip and right click to unequip right rescue the farmer's son and his son is all the way at the top oh yeah so can't forget to do that his son's all the way at the top how to rescue his uh get up there hi there buddy talk to him he's on our back now then we got to bring him back to the father all right and it will also give us another level which level 13 all right so it gives like 500 xp or like 250 to 500 xp each one to do just for the task that completes inside of a mission you know what i mean this is pretty pretty good all right talk to this old hag again bam give him his son all right speechless i don't know how to thank you some slop would be great right so we talked to him next person we need to deliver the sugar beet to nesbit who is all the way over here all right i got us to level 14 with double xp just by the way and we really only need to get to level 15 but you also need to do the story quest right so come over here this is the next quest we need to do but we got to deliver the sugar beet to nesbit first Right, so this didn't happen. Hi there, Nesbit. All right, thank you for the sugar beat. It did take a while. All right, things are happening to help the civilians who are desperately in need of assistance. All right, so whatever. Dude, so next thing we need to do is talk to him. All right, my home was wrecked due to the boars that cowardly camp. But to feed them is key. Please take down the Aguma Boar King. All right, the Boar King is gonna be over here. They call him the Boarsaurus. He's basically where the mountain bandits are as well. So, as you guys can see, by the mountain bandits over here, where the Don sent you first on the left side or oh, right side you'll see the boar cave right we gotta kill him he looks very very ugly cool back and do the bam he has some of the same attacks he doesn't really have any boss drop you don't have to worry about that boom oh, that's a nice move for the katana smooth ink 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 he's almost dead stop perfect block dude what the heck ow we've all right 
no be missed bam and he is dead there we go gotta level up from that level 16. good job everyone is talking about you and how you took down now we gotta go back and talk to wood slap all the way over there then it's indicating that we need to go to the next island which i'm pretty sure you guys will know how to do everything else from this point now the next things i'll be showing you guys is the fighting styles and where to find them all right so the first island is for one sword style all right it is a mystery island this is where you basically do some things for one sword style you do belly or Type of task. Here it is. Sword style trainer. Talk to him. You come to know the ways of the one sword style. To prove you're worth my time, defeat three of my students. Any decent swordman will be able to defeat effortless. Right? Trainees are over here, right? One of them's right here, and the other one's right here. Then he'll probably have you doing some tasks over here for like some weight training and one over here. Some other task as well for the sword style. Then you'll probably have to buy it for a belly once you're done with that. So that's how you get one sword style. Then once you're done, you're gonna have to defeat this boss right here. All right, one of the instructors. All right, he's not that hard to beat, but he should be very, very easy. All right, you guys see, beating him with literally only my fist. And he, hold on, hold on, he's dead. There you go. All right, next is for Black Leg Trainer, uh, which is Marathi. All right, as you guys see, the restaurant we got Sanji right here. This is where you can purchase Black Leg. Bam. He says, "Do you wish to pay a particular price to learn the way of the leg? Using the Black Leg style to attack and defend against enemies, it will cost you a hefty sum, a thousand belt. So you can go ahead and purchase this if you want. It's a thousand. And yeah. Now for the Electro style, we talk to Lizzie where. This, I'm gonna just call this the Electro Style Island. Uh, but I'll put a picture of the map again so you guys can see exactly where all this stuff is like located, right? Because I know it can be quite confusing at times, right? But Electro Island should, well, Mink. It should be by Arlong Park. Yeah, so it's kind of way, 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 way far from Shell's Town. So yeah, it's gonna be a while to you actually talk to her. Cost a thousand belly. Use a static discharge generated by your fur to release electricity at your foes. Only minks can use this. Only mink. Like you have to have the race mink to use this fighting style in a thousand belly. So simple as that. All right. So here we are on the hockey island. As you guys see, it's all the way on the top. I'll put the map up again. Yeah, the hockey island is far, far away from spawn. Just at five. But once you get to the island, go on the top of the mountain. You'll see this trainer, X Shogun Daichi. All right. Talk to him. He will ask you if you want to know the hockey thing quest requirements not met you must have at least 2500 cash all right and he'll give you different tasks to learn this hockey and things like that I'm not gonna get too into it but you guys can do it yourself i'm just here to show you guys the location if this video helped you in any type of way i would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button subscribe turn on notifications as well and see you boys next time oh my See, feel like a Kage when I'm coming up, proving no one can fuck with me. This is my prophecy, Pijo Kurama, we bonded together, you see my nine tail beast. Woke up, drip like a Kage. Charmy got hand and they do what I say. Feel like I'm Kogu, yo, with the god play. Kurama kill him, I'm on your belly, demon foxes. Switch up, and when I pin the pin up, you're dead. If you fucking with me, I'll tell you a list of regrets. They go fall when I show how I lit up the rest. While I flow, I'm the go, bitch, get up.